little bit more about the SoundGrid server inside. This is a very low latency, ultra low latency DSP engine that gives you two functions. So you can offload DSP processing, so your plugins out of maybe Pro Tools or Logic onto the server here, means that you can record using your plugins, you hear them in real time, so low latency monitoring with plugins. But it also frees up the DSP on your computer, leaving it faster for the graphic redraws and the normal functions a computer has to do. So you really are lightening the load of computer and taking care of your processing on here. And that's all cool. This has got eight mic line inputs, eight line outputs. But what do you do if that's not enough? Well, because it's network based, actually we can expand and use some of our other interfaces to expand your system. So we have here uh, an IOX. This has 12 mic line inputs, six outputs and four independent headphones. And we have an IOC which is uh, two mic line inputs, uh, 16 AS in and out, eight line in and out, um, ADAT headphones, so really you know, good utility interfaces. You can use either of these standalone, but really where they come into their own is when you network it all together and build yourself one big interface. Let's have a look at the back of these units. So this is the back of the IOX unit. 12 of our mic line inputs, again, lifted from the SD7 console, so great sounding, lots of headroom. Uh, six line outputs on TRS, uh, two uh, work clock connections in and out. Uh, you can clock any of our devices from work clock and that will clock the entire system. So it gives you a very flexible system design and a two port switch. No need to rush out and buy lots of independent switches. We build at least a two port switch into every device which allows you to daisy chain the boxes together. So this is the back of the IOX. Quickly around the front. Uh, metering on the front, so for phantom power, signal present and clip status, um, and then four independent headphone outputs. You can address each of these individually, so as you're building mixes in the studio for the different artists, you know, the drummer and the bassist, you can, you can give them their own independent level and mixes. And here's the back of the IOC. Again, two mic line inputs, again, SD7 Digico uh, design. We have eight line in and out, these are no mic inputs, these are just line in and out on D-sub 25s, and 16 channels of AES, again on, on D-sub, ADAT in and out, and this will support uh, SMUX mode as well, so if you're running at higher sample rates, again work clock in and out, and our two port switch, so that's the back of the IOC, and around the front, again our signal, to, signal present and uh, metering bits over this side, and two independent headphone outputs here on the left. So it's worth remembering that all of these talk to each other, including the other interfaces in the DigiGrid range. So if you need to in integrate to a MADI box or a Pro Tools using one of our DLI solutions, you can build the best solution, the best interface for your needs. If you want to try them out, buy them or rent them, get on to eastwoodsoundandvision.com.